Hello and a warm welcome to all the green thumbs tuning into Herb Harmony. We're here to illuminate your botanical journey, revealing the mysteries and wonders of the plant world. Today, we dive into the captivating realm of plant hybridization. Hybridization, a word we often hear, but what does it really mean in the context of plants? Well, in the simplest terms, hybridization is like the plant version of a matchmaking process. It's about bringing together two parent plants, each with their unique traits, and encouraging them to produce offspring. Think of it like this. Imagine two friends, one who is incredibly athletic, and another who is a whiz at chess. If they were to have a child, there's a chance this child could inherit the athleticism of one parent and the strategic mind of the other. That's exactly what hybridization aims to do, but with plants. The offspring, or hybrids, that result from this process often possess the best qualities of their parent plants. They might be more resistant to diseases, bear more fruit, or even showcase more vibrant flowers. In the next few minutes, we will explore how to create new varieties of plants through hybridization. Creating a new plant variety is like embarking on a thrilling botanical adventure. Now let's delve into the fascinating process of hybridization. First things first, you need to select your parent plants. These could be two varieties of the same species, or even two different species from the same genus. The aim is to combine the best traits from both, creating a hybrid that's more resilient, more fruitful, or simply more beautiful. Remember, the key here is diversity, so don't shy away from experimenting. Once you've selected your parent plants, it's time for the actual process of cross-pollination. This involves transferring pollen from the anther, or male part of one plant, to the stigma, or female part of the other plant. You might want to use a small brush or even a pair of tweezers for this delicate operation. It's like playing matchmaker for plants, and it's as exciting as it sounds. Next comes the waiting game. After pollination, the plant will start to produce seeds. This might take several weeks or even months, so patience is key. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither are new plant varieties. While you're waiting, keep an eye on the parent plants and the developing seed pods. Observing the changes in your plants is not just informative, it's also incredibly rewarding. Once the seeds are mature, it's time to harvest them. This is a delicate process that requires care. You'll need to dry the seeds before planting them. Again, patience is your best friend here. Once the seeds are dry, you can plant them and start nurturing your new hybrid plants. And then, after all your hard work and patience, you'll see the first signs of your new plant variety. Maybe it's a flower that's a color you've never seen before, or a fruit that's bigger and juicier than its parents. It's a moment of pure joy, a testament to your hard work and patience. And voila, you have successfully created a brand new variety of plant. Isn't that remarkable? Now you might be wondering, why go through all this trouble? Well, hybridization is not just about creating new varieties of plants, it serves a much greater purpose. It allows us to improve plant characteristics in ways that could be game changers in the world of botany. For instance, hybridization can increase a plant's resistance to diseases. A perfect example is the hybrid tea rose. By combining the genes of different rose varieties, we've created a flower that's not only beautiful, but also more resilient to common rose ailments. But the benefits of hybridization don't stop there. It can also enhance the aesthetic appeal of plants. Consider the Orchidaceae family. Through hybridization, we've been able to produce orchids with a dazzling array of colors and patterns, larger blooms, and even longer blooming periods. Moreover, hybridization can help in increasing yield. Just think about the modern corn, a product of centuries of selective breeding and hybridization. It produces more kernels per cob and grows faster than its wild counterparts, making it a staple crop worldwide. In essence, hybridization can be seen as nature's own form of innovation, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the plant kingdom. Hybridization, therefore, is not just a hobby, but a powerful tool for sustainable and efficient gardening. And with that, we have come to the end of our enlightening journey through the world of plant hybridization. Why not venture into this intriguing realm yourselves? Experiment with your favorite plants and share your unique hybrids with us. 
Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more such fascinating insights into the vibrant world of botany. Let's continue to explore, learn and grow together. Until next time, stay green and keep growing. Goodbye from Herb Harmony.